What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. Today is the uh, start to Rose's final full bolt-ons. Basically the ETS for Amal, the BRG manifold, everything. BRG manifold still getting powder coated, but I do want to take everything apart and get it ready to be installed with everything. We could also get like the front mount mocked up and everything with the bumper, cut that Dremel out today when my dad gets home with his Dremel. And yeah, let's get started. I'm super excited. Can't wait to fill this thing almost double the horsepower of what it was at like 380, 400. Don't mind this, I was installing someone's aero separator. They didn't have a line, I had my line and I was about to take it off and use it, but we just found a, another solution. This will come off today, but it'll go back on, route it all nicely how it was before. And eventually I do want to upgrade it to the IAG competition one, but we'll get to that after uh, we do the entire engine bay and get everything all nice. Manifold coming off today, intercooler, front end coming apart, the crash bars come off, all that good stuff. As you can tell, we got the little front mount mocked up. Just so y'all know, it is a four inch core. If I didn't clarify, if you didn't watch the last video either, when I revealed this four inch core BRZ manifold going on, waiting for it in paint, like I said, just gonna kind of get everything mocked up. Right now, have all the lines off, manifold off, have all the manifold ports for, to the valves obviously blocked off so nothing gets in there while it's open. But just mocking everything up. I'm gonna clean everything, wipe the intercooler down, you know, wipe the pipes down, just make sure everything's super clean, and then uh, go ahead and get this side kind of mocked up to where like the BRZ manifold would go. And then that's pretty much it for today. We can't really go too much forward because we don't have the manifold or the cold side piping that I also dropped off for powder coating. This side was red to the cold side to the charge pipe, so I am going to, well, I already did with the manifold, drop it off to get powder coated, wrinkle black as well. Manifold was the BRZ wrinkle red. I am getting it wrinkle black red. Oh, pff, wrinkle black red. I am getting the manifold wrinkle black simply for the fact that I do have like a vision with how I want like the engine bay to look. Just kind of mocking everything up, getting everything situated, figuring out how it'll look, mount up and all that. But that is pretty much it for today besides like cleaning up a few things. I am going to Dremel my front bumper right now. Try to see if I can get that to fit and get mocked up. What is going on guys? Welcome back to day two of this video. I guess I could call this the dismantling video where we're taking everything apart. As you guys saw in the time lapse, we got everything taken apart. The only thing I need to take out is the high pressure fuel pump. And then I did put some gas, run it through the intercooler, just get out any oil that was in there from the previous owner. So I put some water right after and it's like let it dry overnight. That's why it's propped up like that. So it drains all night. And then that is pretty much it. The only thing I did off camera yesterday was cut this bottom piece for the front mount intercooler. I kind of try to follow the line because it comes out right here to like a corner. Right. And then it kind of goes back. So I kind of try to cut like straight across, make a, a decent line. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it is what it is. You're never going to notice it like in pictures or anything. And it, it is almost like a perfectly straight line. So, that being said, mounting the intercooler to the front of the car. It goes right here, obviously. And then one bolt right here where the horn goes. Two right there on the sides for like the spacers with the bolts to hold it as well. 
but because this grill is pushed in and that is a four inch core the biggest one you could buy that they sell unless like you ask for a custom one it hits so basically what i'm gonna do remove the grill and then i have to cut off i'll probably do like a quarter inch of the entire thing with the blade or uh i don't even know what it's called but a grinder or whatever but cut off a quarter inch and then i'm going to be J jb well actually let me see if i can pick this up without dragging it yeah, so basically there's these little clips right here that hold on the grill once i cut the grill i will lose them so i'm going to just save them and then jb weld them back on and then we'll be able to reuse the uh, grill and everything will still look nice this is perfectly cut i kind of cut off these tabs on the bottom because i'm not going to use them probably should have used them but it is what it is it don't matter and then i took off this plastic piece right here that goes underneath but i might because it mounts up to these clips that i cut off right underneath to hold the bumper on but i might put it back on i mean if a cop pops my hood no matter what he's gonna be like oh my god but i might put it back on just so you can't see underneath because when the bumper's on you can see my boost line you can see everything underneath so i might do that we'll see once i kind of get everything mounted back up but yeah that's where we're at i'm going to do the grill right now kind of cut it up and all that good stuff and then we can take the high pressure fuel pump out as well and then the whole car will be taken apart and everything will be ready to uh, go back together but that's basically it i was going to try to do it with the grill on but on the top side right here where the top of the bumper is is too close so i had to take it out because i don't want to try and accidentally cut through the back to the front and have to replace the bumper so i'm gonna play it safe i'm gonna mark like a quarter inch in mostly right here it is but i'm gonna do a quarter inch on the whole thing so you know the whole thing's even uh like an even takedown and then we should be good i got the whole thing taped up inside and out probably didn't need to do the inside but i just did it just in case so i'm gonna do like a quarter inch marks all the way around a bunch of times because it's gonna draw, be hard to draw a line so quarter inch marks all the way around and then We'll just go from there. It doesn't stick too well on this type of material, but as long as it's pretty accurate and pretty straight, it's not going to be perfect, but it is what it is. I knew buying this girl, I'd have to do this eventually when I bought the front mount, so I'm not worried too much. So let's get this done and get her back on. Well, actually, I'm going to have to wait a day for the JB Wilt to dry these mounts, and then we could put it back on. Or we could, we could definitely like put the screws back in, but putting the mesh on, I'll have to wait a day for sure, for sure. I got all my lines down, dotted all the way across, just enough of them so I can create like a pretty straight line because the blade's so big. So now because of the scary part, we're gonna cut it. I honestly, no, it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm going to try my best. So however it turns out, however it turns out, but we were gonna take our time, go slow. That's why I made so many marks so I could go as straight as possible, kind of follow a line. And then we should be good, do the uh, JB Weld, Get the little metal tabs back on and hopefully she fits <laughs> but we'll see i'm gonna get everything mocked up and then i'm gonna have to screw back in and then we'll go from there well i didn't even realize i wasn't recording but we got the grill basically almost done cutting up obviously the line's not perfect but it does look pretty good so right where these metal tabs are there's actually big squares underneath so instead of cutting all the way through i'm gonna just cut alongside the metal and then shorten up the tab so I can reuse them and then not have to do the JB weld. So that's what I'm going to try and do and see if that works. So I'm going to have to take the tape off. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to take the tape off. I'm going to just leave it on and then keep going.
So I did end up having to just cut the tabs completely through just because when I was trying to cut like a square around it, like when I was pulling them out, it was pulling all the fabric and everything from inside of here. So it was just cleaner to just cut it all clean off. And funny enough, they all just kind of came out without anything on them, all clean and stuff right here. There is five of them. So I'm gonna do like one on top, one on bottom, two on the sides, or probably two on the top, something like that. Doesn't have to be held on very tight, but that's about it. And then we'll just JB weld these on right now. First, I'm gonna test clean this up, test fit it, get it back on, and then we'll go from there. It fits. But just barely, I mean like this side got a millimeter of clearance and this side's barely touching, like literally on it. So there's no way the grill or the mesh behind it would fit. So I don't know if I want to leave it like that or if I want to put the mesh there. I kind of want to put it there just... Oh my God, are you good? <laughs> but I kind of want to put it there, but that's some tight fitment. It is the next day. I finally finished doing the sanding and getting the fitment right with the grill. As you can see, it's sitting in the sun because I JB welded these tabs back on. I didn't record last night because it got dark and you couldn't really see. And I spent like three hours taking the bumper on and off with the grill in, trying to perfect this fitment. JB welded these tabs back on, so hopefully they'll stay. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. As far as dismantling the car, the only thing I need to do still is take out the high pressure fuel pump and everything will be completely taken apart. So I'm gonna end this video here. This is the uh, dismantling video. Next, I'm gonna be installing everything so you guys can see that. But yeah, it should be done in the next couple of days. It is Wednesday, it should be done by Friday. As long as I get everything by tomorrow, I could have it done in the next two hours if I had everything right now, but you know, I gotta stay patient. So, slowly but surely, we'll get this done, get her back on the road, and uh, be pushing some real power. Definitely can't wait to see what the car feels like after the tune. Be sure to stay on the lookout for the next video, the install video where we put everything back together, and we load up the base map, which I should be getting tonight. Since that'll be it for this video, thank you guys as always for watching. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like, hit that notification bell so you guys can see when I upload the install video and the first drive, my reaction, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.